Let's write a C program to print all the prime numbers between user entered range using nested for loops. Well, prime number is a natural number greater than 1 which has no positive divisors other than 1 and itself. Think of range that is from 10 to 20. Our program prints all the prime numbers between 10 and 20. So let's write for loop for that. Num should start with start and it should execute until num is less than or equal to end value. Simple. So whatever number is selected is it is present inside the variable num. So count should start from 2 to uh, count is until count is less than num. So if any number from 2 to num minus 1 divides the number perfectly then the number is not a prime number. If no number perfectly divides the selected num then the number that is the selected number is a prime number. So let's check that using a C program. I'll take a couple of variables start end num count prime and temp. Let's use temporary variable too. I'll ask the user to input start and end value. So we assume that user enters a uh, smaller value for start and bigger value for end that is start value is less than end value. Okay. So we store those numbers inside the address of variables start and end. If start value is greater than end value, we check that if start is greater than end, then we swap the values of start and end using temporary variable. Okay, it's very simple logic. I'll assign start value to temporary variable and end value to start variable and then temporary temp value to end value end variable. So that swaps the values of start and end variables. So prime numbers between percentage %d and percentage %d are I'll show you why we did this swapping and all. So first let me write the for loop. So for num is initialized to start. This for loop executes until num is less than or equal to end value. And for each iteration of this for loop, num value increments by one. So I'll print the value of number here. That is variable num slash t num. So let's compile and execute this. So I'll enter 10 and 20. So it should print all the numbers from 10 to 20. So if I enter 20 and 10, 20 is greater than 10, still it should print all the numbers from 10 to 20. That is why we swapped the numbers. Now start will always have smaller number than the value of end. So number is assigned to start value. This for loop executes till num is less than or equal to end. And for each iteration num value increments by one. Okay. Now whatever number is selected, we assume that it's a prime number. So prime is equal to one. Now we check the selected number if it's prime or not. So I'll start with count is equal to two because every number will be perfectly divisible by one. So we leave that one and start the count with from two. Now count is less than num. Don't write count is less than or equal to because that number will be divided perfectly divided by itself. So leave that number. So count is less than num is perfect. Now let us check num modulo division count is equal to zero. In that case, that number selected number present inside variable num is not a prime number. So we assign zero to prime and break out of that inner for loop. And then if we check if prime, that means if prime has non zero value, in that case, the value present inside num is a prime number. So we print that out onto the console window each time we check for it. So I'll write 10 and 20 again. So prime numbers between 10 and 20 are, so it's shown there. So let me optimize this code. I'll take another integer variable inum. Let's come here. So inum is equal to number divided by two. So this inner for loop iterates from two to until count is less than or equal to i num times. So let me execute it and check that once again. We'll give 10 and 20 and it's giving same results. Okay. Let's further optimize this code. Okay. I'll include math.h library file. 
and then we will use square root built in method so square root of selected number so this inner while loop iterates from count is equal to 2 to until count is less than or equal to square root of selected number so I'll give 10 and 20 again and it's giving same results let me execute the program once again and I'll give this time 10 and 40 so it should properly print all the prime numbers between 10 and 40 and it's working you can check those numbers individually if it's prime or not so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you